only 22 years old. All right, what's the tail of the tape now, Gordon? You've had a chance to crunch the numbers between the 100 and 200. Now, there's some meats left, we'll say, but as of right now, who would you say the best combo sprinter of 2021 was? Okay, instead of just telling you, I think we just have to show you. So if you're listening to this podcast, I'll try to lay it out. But made this graphic. There are really six good, top the threes. There are, uh, there are six top threes that matter. The top three in the Olympics in the 100 and the 200, the top three in the Diamond League in the one, the two, and the top three in the world descending order list of 2021 in the one and the two. Uh, Jacobs shows up in two of the six categories. Uh, okay, so we'll just run through it. Olympics, Jacobs, Curly, DeGrasse was the 100. The 200 mm -hmm. was DeGrasse, Benaric, Lyles. Diamond League, Curly, DeGrasse, Baker. Diamond League, 200. Benaric, DeGrasse, Curly. Then world lead, uh, win legal world lead, 100. Bromel, Jacobs, Sue, and Baker, 200. Mm -hmm. Lyles, DeGrasse, Benaric. And so the name you see the most is DeGrasse. He's in, okay. he's in five, five of, the of the six, six. categories yep. in the top three. The name you see the second most, I believe, is Curly and Benaric, right? Because they have um, Curly, Curly. three. Curly has Benaric. three. Benaric has three. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Lyles has two spots. Baker, Baker has, has two. Good. Jacobs has two. So it's basically DeGrasse, Curly, and Benaric. Benaric only has one victory. Curly only has one. DeGrasse has one. Mm -hmm. I think people are going to be willing to kind of scratch Benaric off the list. I don't know why I'm doing that. But actually, when you look at it just straight up, check this out. Let's just look at the at the U.S. men. Curly, mm -hmm. first in the hundred diamond league, second in the hundred Olympics. Ben Narek, first in the two hundred diamond league, second in the two hundred Olympics. Mm -hmm. So Ben Narek and Curly kind of have a very similar resume. They've literally tied time wise in one of the diamond leagues. I remember that. Ben Narek has beaten Curly a bunch of times. Curly has beaten Barrick a few times. DeGrasse has just been consistent, right? He's second in the one and the two at the Diamond League, second in the 200 world lead, first in the 200. It's just like you kind of want to give out a three-way or a two-way trophy, right? Wow. Like, can we share the so, belt or do we have to give it to one of – because it's going to Curly, DeGrasse, or Ben Eric. That's who's getting the belt. Sorry, okay. Jacob. Sorry, Bromel. Sorry, Lyles. You're not getting it. All right, I have a tiebreaker. How do we handle this belt? It, what do we do? What's a tiebreaker? If, if, if you're saying that they're even, I'm going to go to the person with the Olympic gold, and I'm going to give it to DeGrasse. I think that's a perfectly legitimate tiebreaker here. Also, DeGrasse in this 200 today going against a fresh Bednarik was tough. So not all these races were created equal here. So I think it's DeGrasse. I like the way you set this up going in where it was – Curly can, if Curly gets both of them, he jumps DeGrasse. DeGrasse get, gets a split. Uh, or if he beats Curly in one, then it's a, then it goes to DeGrasse. And then if Benaric just runs out of his mind, then we'd have to throw him in there as well, too. So this is the head to head. Is this this year? Yeah. No, this is all time. All time. That's all time? Yeah. So, I mean, this is between DeGrasse and Bednarik. So in this year, Hungary, it's three, three. I mean, are we counting rounds and stuff too? If yes. it's we're not counting rounds, then it's three two Bednarik this year. Okay. Again, I'm going to give more weight to the to the Olympics though. So I'll go Bednarik, but I'll or sorry, I'll go I'll go DeGrasse, but I'll I'll hear your argument. Bednarik, I think, got because he was fourth at the trials, didn't get to do the hundred at the Olympics, right? So he was only in. In one now, same thing with you know, Curly was only in the hundred in the Olympics as well too, whereas DeGrasse was in in both. But then, are you gonna 
And DeGrasse had an easier path to get to the Olympics in both. Not that he wouldn't have yeah. qualified, but Canada versus U.S. It's like if someone runs a 989 at the Canadian trials, they're going to get in. So the more I talk about this, the more I realize how confusing and close this actually is. But I'm going to stick with my gold medal tie break. I'll give it to DeGrasse this year. Okay, so you're giving the, you're giving the, the belt to DeGrasse. What I'm doing is yes. I'm going to turn the belt into a cup, right? <laughs> kind of like Stanley Cup style. And okay. During the off season, DeGrasse, Ben Eric, and Curly each get to spend a month with this cup. It's called okay, I see. The, the Sprinter Cup. That's what we call it, just the Sprinter's Cup. Mm-hmm. And they, they get to do whatever they want for that month, and then they pass it to the next person. And so the month of October, we're going to let uh, DeGrasse have the cup. The month of November, we'll let Ben Eric have the cup. And then month of December, we'll let Fred Curley have this cup. They can do whatever they want with it. They take photos Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they can share it. And then what we do is we decide who gets to keep the cup in 2022. So I'm I'm just three-way tie. I'm doing three-way tie, three-way tie. Mm. I know people don't like that. I'm Gordon. They they all get the cup. You got to make a decision, man. You got to make a decision. You can't do three-way tie. I think. Let's play the game of would you ever predict this would happen with this question. Would you ever predict at the beginning of 2021 that we'd be discussing who's the best combo one-two sprinter of the year and it would be these three gentlemen? I mean, yeah, DeGrasse would be in there. But it's just – it's. I think everybody would have said different names. The three they yeah. would have come up with would have been would have been different or even a couple even a couple months. This um, is funny. Think this, about – Yeah, this three-way title between DeGrasse, Ben Eric, and – and Curly, just think about the names that aren't on that list, right? Yeah. There's no Noah are. Lyles, no Christian Coleman, no Olympic champion in the 100, no Trayvon Bromel. Mm-hmm. But no, I mean, these are the three that rose to the top. They've all beaten up on each other. Yeah. And I'm the type of person that doesn't want to use the Olympics as the tiebreaker. Because I don't think that's fair. I don't think Olympics should be the tiebreaker. I don't think that – I don't think – Super Bowl championships or NBA titles should be the tiebreaker for goats and well, other sports. I know why you don't so, believe that for NBA, but let's not let your personal feelings get in the way of this stone cold analysis that we're trying to put out there. I think it does matter because when you when you put that graph up, you're putting a, a Diamond League title or a world lead on the same line as Olympic champion. And I think that is tough. Now, with someone like Jacobs, who literally didn't run up the Olympics, it's a different story. And I'm not saying people can't improve their stock after the Olympics because Curly and, and Bednarik certainly did. They had great Olympics and they just took off from there. But I think, I think the Olympics are the most important of those three categories. I don't think anybody would disagree with me on that. So in a world where Jacobs didn't exist – and Curly won gold, and DeGrasse won silver in the 100? What would you do then? Well, it'd be a gold for Curly, but it'd be a silver and for... a gold for DeGrasse in the two. And a, yeah, and a silver for DeGrasse. It'd be a lot closer. I, it might be a, two, a two-person a two cup then. I might have to borrow your cup idea, but just do it for hey, two. Hey, okay. <laughs> so you're okay with giving out cups to people no. to share? No, I think, it would be, I think it would be Curly at that point. Maybe Curly. Okay. Play. So I mean, look at this. Jacobs look at this. Look at this. is the reason. Look at this. Put oh, this. Wow. Put the two hundred between the two guys up. Or no, this is the two and the. No, this is just the hundred. Excuse me. It's the hundred. Four to four. Four to four. Curly, and DeGrasse, this year. Can you put up their two hundred, Travis? Or if you already did, I apologize. But, uh, well, I was gonna say Curly's never raced. Uh, he's oh, zero and one all time. We got the wrong. We got the with the wrong. So four and four, and then two and zero. Oh. oh, sorry, but one and zero oh just today. That was it. That was our first meeting of the year. So I get if you combine them both, the uh, grass slight edge. But yeah, I think that might be enough to tip it. But I'm talking about what actually happened, and what actually happened is Jacobs exists. He won the gold in the hundred. Uh, Curly was silver. DeGrasse was bronze. DeGrasse won the gold in the in the two. These are very close. All three had eight incredible seasons. I give it to DeGrasse. We're going to have this conversation again, I think, in a week or two where I'll come up with my, 
you know, top 10 world rankings mm -hmm. and that piss a lot of people off because I can tell you right now, one, two, and three will not be the gold, silver, bronze medalist at the Olympics because I don't think that's how we should rank people purely on one event. So we'll do okay. that in a few weeks, the official right. year-end top 10s.